Here we have an info leak in curl. Curl is a command line tool and also libcurl is the related library for transferring data with URLs. Now both the CLI tool and the library support connecting to Telnet rather than, you know, a Telnet URL as opposed to, you know, HTTP or something like that that you're used to thinking about. And there's specifically a option for passing environment variables to the Telnet session that you're about to connect to. So in the libraries, it's got this curl op telnet options, and for the command line, it's dash t. So if you want to, for instance, set an environment variable foo equal to four a's, then you would pass dash t new env equals foo comma four a's. And that's pretty much all you need to know for background here. Now, I specifically cut down the relevant code to be much easier. So if I would have given you this entire subopt function, you maybe would have got uh, lost in the weeds. So this code right here is all that it's going to take to be relevant for finding the vulnerability. And specifically, I'm going to say, you know, this bit of code right here. So of course you wanna see, you know, what the variables are set to and that kind of thing, the stack local variables. But go ahead and try to interpret this code and see if you can find where there is an uninitialized stack data info leak.